Hi there friends and welcome to the first episode of my new Legend of Keeper series based around Zarel the Enchantress. So we're going to get right into the action after we have finished the campaign of Mog. Well, I haven't uh, dipped my toes into the Ascension mode yet, but one thing at a time. I've already discovered that Zarel is featuring a new type of monsters, elementals, which were not available for Mog. So let's have some fun and let's get going. Now, let's see what we have here. I know that the human's advance in the forest worries you. As we promised at the job interview, we set up your office in the Inebria Valley so you have ample opportunity to hunt between contracts. Okay. <laughs> so I'm really uh, curious about the question, how different does the Enchantress play, uh, is the Enchantress to be played compared to Mog? Because I have never tried out a different uh, in master yet so i'm really really curious about that so we got a novice with ice damage for the front ice aoe and air air everywhere so i have nobody literally nobody who's good for uh, for the front slot here We're really heavily relying on water damage uh, on, on fire damage so my critters are very uh, vulnerable to ice there's not even a different HP amount between those poor creatures, so they have to die. Uh, most likely a rather horrible death. Well, let's poison them a bit. And let's see. Here, somebody. Oh yeah, that's what we can put up front. And air resistance. Well, that's the best we can muster here. Okay, let's keep going. Really curious to see what uh, the difference, main differences here are. So, let's see. Definitely like the different soundtracks so far. Alright, Sephir applies air weakness, Shiroko applies vulnerable. So, I'm going to focus myself on the single target damage for now because I always feel like that's a wise choice to do. Burns and, well, burns for everybody. Well, I want to attack everybody, so. What? She's still alive after that? Lucky me. Alright, let's go for some AoE. Ooh. Okay. It's going a lot better than I thought. Alright. Okay, quite happy with the outcome of room one. Taking down an enti one entire group member is always a good thing. Enchanted seeds. Each monster gains 10% life once transformed. Transforms into a tree when effect expires. Okay. Damage and damage. Want to find out what that is really want to know. I mean, is it good to be transformed into a tree is the question for me, that I'm asking myself. So... Here we are. Nature damage... gives the master thorns when attacked. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I guess the real strong part about this is that every minion that dies this way is actually a bonus for the master and she seems to rack up quite a quite an immense amount of damage reflection this way. Okay, Unstable Elemental, what's that? 25 Physical, regenerates the Unstable Elemental's life by 10% of damage dealt per stack of bonds it's benefiting from. Lose maximum life to gain bonds, okay. Well, I rather, well, I'll try it out. <laughs> I was a little bit reluctant there, but then I wanted to try it out, actually. 
Okay, we got these things. Let's see the merchant here. A time watcher. I really like the time watcher. I do like the ghost as well, so let's just just buy them both. Let's see, a mortar, a gargoyle. No, none of these are really convincing me. So what can we do here? Plus two levels for my fire elemental for 250 gold. I'll take that. That feels like a very good deal to me. So we could sell away my earth elemental for 550 gold. I'm pretty sure I will be not seeing a real a, a comparable deal in the next phase. 500, 550 gold is insanely much just for one critter. Okay, fire front, physical back, physical front. So a lot of physical damage. Nature resistance is rather weak. And do I have opportunities to deal ice damage in that room? Not really. Not really too many, that is. So let's see. Nobody here is particularly well armored. That's a shame. So. Let's put up the Time Master in front. Wait a sec. No, he has the least HP. Dang. So. It's either really vulnerable against. Uh... Okay, whatever. Physical and how are they against air faring against air damage quite nicely? Okay. Let's go for that one. And we would need somebody with a Oh man, this is so unfortunate. However I put things together, I will all I'll always uh, leave a opening against the attacks to, of my enemies, so we're really struggling with defending ourselves good against that. But at least ever we get a... Alright. It's an interesting skill there on the unstable elemental. Okay, let's spread some of that. Let's spread some damage overall. I highly doubt that I have the means to actually annihilate the, a single person on their squad, but it seems to be really, really powerful to spread my damage over them like that. There we go. The air element, the, uh, what I already noticed is that this setup is really really or the whole idea here is really strong at debuffing enemies resistances so that it becomes less and less meaningful to use the proper element against an enemy that's something i do like honestly so let's see maybe i can scare away that booger that would be quite nice well let's see if i can keep him alive one more time because, you know, harvesting some sweet, sweet tears in between is also quite important. Especially when you're just uh, playing around with your enemies. Ice Impaler deals ice damage, gains power per stack of thorns. Gains thorns if the target's ice resistance is negative. So thorns seems to be a key mechanic around uh, for Zarel. That's one thing I start already noticing quite much. Okay, let's check it out. Our air elemental gains a new frontline attack. Also affects heroes slower than the wind elemental. Affects attacks also target heroes affected by frostbite. Gains 10 speed per stack of thorns. Ooh, now we're talking business. And, well... I want to upgrade that unstable elemental because I want to try out if it's actually growing into something co uh, cool at some point. But for now, I'll actually decide to spread my money across the board and not focus into anything too much. Yeah, well, oh, 
okay I, I need to remember myself that the course event seems to be always something that I want to have let's give our wind elemental a break he seems to be stressed out all right business trip bewitched glove more damage to max HP enemies well I like this option this gives the guy a timeout and uh, and some benefits from it for it well let's uh, do some singing for the squad why not keeps the morals up and let's let's see what a four star fight can do to us all right we got a priestess with air damage for the front aoe nature applies dodge each fight applies and we got air for the back line front air back air okay lots of air damage on them so good thing that we are quite resistant against air damage nature damage is the other thing well let's do it like that then and let's see don't have too many options just uh, spreading them in a way that that seems to be meaningful really uh, looking I'm really looking forward to the first fight that will Brings Zarel to the point where she has to fight herself. Now let's do that spell. And let's see. Do some slows. How's fire resistance for them? Way worse than nature resistance, that's good. All right, she's taking damage, and now this guy is actually healing from that. What a nice way of uh, playing around. And everybody's taking damage when he's hurting him. Hmm. My god, that's devastating. They actually have only one person left here. Alright, flamboyant, flamboyant lightning. Also looking quite tasty. This time I don't want to mess around until I can scare him away. I'd rather take him down right away. More damage in that skill. More max life. She's way less beefy than the other guy. But I got a skill which heals me per se. Well, let's pick up the max life. I don't think I'll need it because the first level of a dungeon is always the easiest, but yeah, well, rather be safe than sorry, you know. Now, oh, we got our fire elemental back in roster. Nice. So let's see, who can we train? My little guy here, the Dark Mage, want to get rid of the level 1 status of most of them as quick as possible. So, rings or weights, or both. Let's train our Enchantress. What do we have here? Okay, we can either sell his pet stick insect or resurrect it i want to resurrect it i'm always short in tier short of tears in general so oh yeah we got a okay my my time watcher loves to uh, read naughty max the more you know all right there we go. It's a lot of nature resistance. Nature AOE, ice front, physical front, uh, physical back. So, ice front. 
That's what we're gonna do. And physical, no. Yeah, physical for the back. Let's use this. Wait a sec, nature ain't that good. Let's drop the cursed prism. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot. No, let's stick with a poison cloud and apply some poison. Even though it might be not effective, not as effective, but I prefer that over the other effect because I have no clue if my master actually has. Oh, she has a she has a ice attack. Okay. Good. Well. The ninja is not exactly a slow unit to begin with, sadly. Well... Spread some burns. And the next time we're, getting, we're able to spread the slows. I really, really like that, and spark ricochets if the enemy is affected by burn, but somehow they are not sad. Alright, that little guy really didn't feel too fulfilling here, so far. And here goes that. Ow. Alrighty, so far so good. Flying dagger, pile of bones, well... Let's go for the flying dagger, I don't like any of these traps, but... I had to, cho I had to choose something, you know. Alright, but finally my peeps are back in town. We don't have enough money for the trainer, but maybe we can buy something. A flame eater. Oh yeah, I like that one. The flame eater is way more fitting to the playstyle of Sorel than it is to the playstyle of Mog, because with all the magic units we got, I feel like it's very fitting there. So what do we have here? Demons attacks regenerate their life if it's affected by burn. Transmutation circle. Well, let's just take the two birds stone. I don't want to sacrifice away my units. I'm not that wealthy right now. Therapist. Well, why not? We can use some morals. But let's just take the, the regular treatment. I don't want to spend any of my resources here for something not too desirable. Okay, so physical for the front, and this guy is enraging the whole team. Fire for the front, ice for everybody. So. This is bad. <laughs> we got no backline attacker though, so I can't put up whatever I want to. Let's see. So. The Ice Hedgehog is not the best choice because it is best used against people that already have a low ice resistance. Their nature resistance is not too high, so let's take the Poison Trap and the Cursed Prism right away to soften it up even more. Now, Physical and Fire, we said. Yeah, it's again neither of those really too good. Their fire resistance is rather high, so I don't want to pick these guys. I rather stick to the... Wait a sec, physical? To the air damage dealers. I wanted to say, yeah, let's, let's do this. I feel like that's a wise choice there. Alright, so let's 
surviving that one quite well. So, attacks ricochet to the hero positioned behind if armor is positive, I see. Alright, air weakness, vulnerability, or... Let's spread some air weakness. I still got a certain hope to... Oh well. Should've, uh... Should've not uh, bothered with that. Oh, but actually... Bang! That's a lot of damage. Okay, we didn't manage to take anybody down, but we did spread a lot of damage there. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Mogged it wasn't able to deal that much damage as a with a direct spell. So what I already like about Zorel is the fact that she has a spell which transforms all of her creatures into something else can be really useful. Like, in a situation where I'm realizing that all my critters are super bad, I can at least change the setup to something which is really more... benefits at least the boss itself, the Enchantress. So, each monster gains 20% life. Yeah, let's buff up the Enchanted Seeds. That sounds like a fun strategy. Alrighty, a new merchant, but there's also a trader, so let's see if we can... Place to bet on a boar racing game during lunch break. Okay, we're going to keep the money, I don't want to. What do we have here? Suspend them. Well, let's just ignore that. If they want to brawl over a toothbrush, they shall. I got different uh, thing. I got other things to do. All right. Let's get our minions all past level one. And well, the therapist sounds like something I want to do. I don't need the workout, and. A random event would have been something too, but always a big fan if there's a opportunity I need. All right, more elemental re resistance reduction. So AOE and nature, physical and uh, nature AOE and frontline fire. So. I really don't feel like I got a setup which is extremely good against that, so let's just follow with follow up with what I got. So fire for the frontline defenses and beyond that. All my critters are somewhat susceptible to these attacks uh, attacks, so but air seems to be a very powerful way to go on them, so I'll take those. So many actions even before I can't act a single time. I hate it when they do that. We're not gonna be able to do anything there. Okay. So we're going to use the enchanted seeds here this time, because I feel like that's way better than Provoking another disaster here. Applies tiredness now. The ninja is quite resilient against nature damage, but he's the only one, so. And we got a completely fresh roster of units here with that. Hmm. 
So at least taking down a few of them this way. I was too afraid that my other folks would uh, suffer the same... the same... fate as the other guys were. So this time, Zarel is actually acting for the first time. Alright, so we are able to do ice and nature damage, air damage, or pure nature damage. There we go. Quite a nasty team we had there against us, but Earth Impaler. All monsters of the group gain thorns when the Earth Impaler is attacked. Mm, I like that. <sighs> well, do I want to get this guy back? No, I want the Earth Impaler. I like that idea. Sounds like a lot of fun. And nobody lost motivation here in that room. That's really interesting to know. I didn't expect that, you know. So, homeopathic poison. If the morals are too low, they take more damage. But no, we're going to rent away the Earth Hedgehog. Let's pick up another event, and my... My succubus is a little bit uh, tired. Okay. Let's spread it out like that. Or, wait a sec, I definitely want to have the air elemental and combo with other air damage dealers. That's way too good. The air elemental is really good at lowering enemies, air resistances, and uh, that feels like a waste not to use that. A giant worm has oozed my, its way to my lower levels. We're going to sell it. Can always use more money. Woo! The first champion fight is upon us. Let's check it out. So, a necromancer. Alright. So, ice damage, ice damage, air damage. The back line is uh, involved the most here. Ice and air. Well, we're going to put up this little guy here. And they are rather weak against fire all over the board. Wonderful. So we're going to put this up like that. Do they have a shuffle? No. But let's... Uh... I need to go back to that room. These guys need to swap. He's a little bit less vulnerable against ice damage than the other guy. So... Nature seems to be quite okay. Let's spread some more damage here, and let's see... Ice and air on the back slot. Is there anybody strong against that? Well, that's the strongest I got. stick with that. Okay, looking forward to that one. Alrighty. More elemental uh, weakness. I like this guy because he stacks up more of the same debuff people are already suffering from. Sadly, I'm not able to use his uh, Thorns ability, but I practically only picked him for the tankiness. Honestly. So, let's spread some more fire damage. Oh yeah, I like that. Mmm! Things are even better now. Okay. Well, let's just keep stacking the debuffs here. All 
All right. Ah, oh, dang. She's going to revive that guy. I was trying to avoid that, but I wasn't able to. Well, okay. Ah, well. Let's do this like that. Getting rid of the necromancer this way. Only skeleton left. Cheers. Easy fight. We destroyed them almost in the first, uh, almost completely in the first room. I like that setup so far, really a lot. The elementals are a lot of fun. And well, okay, a Juboko. I'm not a big fan of the Juboko in general. I would have, uh, I would have preferred a a demon, uh, not a demon, a elemental over that. But now it's a Juboko, so we're going to. Take good care of him and boost him up as hard as we can. Alrighty, so that was today's episode, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue in the next episode. Oh yeah, I want that troll beer. Troll beer is cool. And as usual, drop me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to hear from you. A thumbs up goes a long way in helping this video to make this video more visible. And if you like that kind of content, I do daily videos. Check out my channel, leave a subscription, turn on the notifications, and you won't miss any future things. Also, you'll find my social media links in the description below. Among those, my Twitch account, where I also do daily streams. So if you want to get in touch, I'd be more than happy. Also, there are financial support links down there which I would be deeply appreciating if you could follow that because I will always keep doing my content for free but sadly I need food and rent and all these other nasty things for a living and if you would be supporting me I would be more than grateful but even if you don't support me directly your time your attention and your good mood supports me the most have a nice day friends and goodbye